hello everyone so now we will see this question where you need to find which of the configuration has the higher output impedance you don't need to find the value of output impedance you need to tell which has the higher output impedance okay so uh, we all know like from here we can see the same impedance right whatever the impedance we can see from here we will see from here because all of because it is the exact same exact same configuration right exact same configuration so all three are BJTs connected in series so exact same configuration we have so let us assume from here we are seeing R resistance okay so we can replace both of the configuration by this from here we have R actually this should not be like this And this is we have is R. Okay. So from here we need to see the resistance. So this is what common gate amplifier, right? Common base amplifier. And the output resistance of both of them is Zm R naught into R. Here also Zm R naught into R. This is the Gm of BJT, this is the Gm of MOSFET. Okay r naught value will be the same and this r is the same so the thing is between who has higher transconductance who has higher transconductance if bjt has the higher transconduction then the output will be the output resistance of bjt will be higher and if mosfet has the higher output uh, higher transconductance then the output resistance of mosfet will be higher now for for bjt what is ic ic is i not e to the power vbe upon eta vt right and for mosfet what is ic oh sorry id drain current that is mu n cox in saturation region of course because we are uh, in saturation region we are uh, like uh, in which region we operate uh, the MOSFET when we are we are using it for amplifier. When we are using MOSFET to the to for amplifier, we operate it in saturation region. So for MOSFET, mu and CX double by 2L VGS minus VT whole square. Right. So what would be your dial IC by dial VB? That is GM. That is equals to I naught e to the power VBE upon eta VT right upon eta vt and this would be i del id upon del vbe the del id upon del vgs actually that is equals to gm that will be equals to mu n cox w by l vgs minus vt now you can see this is exponential right and this is linear so which will be greater exponential one right just assume your vbe is 5 vbe is 5 and vgs is also 5 okay your vgs is 5 and your vbe is 5 so if you put in bjt is 1 you will get e to the power 5 upon neta vt also you have and vt is in millivolt so it would be e to the power 5000 something like that in 1000 you will get so that value will go very much higher and in this you have linear okay so that will be in small decimal values right so what you will say the gm of vgt is higher and gm of VG, mosfet is lesser why because here we are having exponential expression and here we are having linear expression also you what you can say like this is the graph for drain current right id versus vds okay and in which region we are by seeing in this region saturation region so what do you see this is id versus not uh, id versus vds yeah what you can see the change in id is very less okay when you are biasing it in saturation region okay the change in id will be very less okay i shouldn't draw it like this because we are we are not seeing the change with with respect to vds we are seeing the change with respect to vgs okay 
so the change in id with respect to vgs is very less okay the expression is linear expression okay while the change in ic with respect to vb is very high because we have exponential expression so that's why gm of bjt is higher than gm of mosfet so r output of bjt will be higher than r output of mosfet okay so that's the final answer okay so this this will be higher okay so that was one important concept of transconductance okay thank you